Yes, Robin. So sit down and shut your faces as I wrap you in a story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Let me tell you a tale that brings you and immerses you in a time that you didn't want to remember. A time where people are so unintelligent nobody bothers to call. CPS on a man who locks his son in a wood cabin and makes him do all of his dirty work and feeds him so little that he decides to go fake his death and float down a river in a canoe he just barely found and murders an innocent little piglet just so he can spread blood everywhere. Huh? Poor piggy. Please, open this book. That will confuse you at every step of the way. Like, who the heck is this guy who is just showing up at a little boy's window and calls him his father? How did Huck get from his the widow's house all the way down to a cabin in less than half a page? And then from that, two pages later, suddenly, his father is out of control mad, drunk and insane and hallucinating. Seriously, like, it'll make you want to ask Mark Twain... What was in that pipe? Because the last thing we want is a repeat of Siegfried Roy. Me, Jim. That slave runaway that you meet one chapter in the book and ask yourself, why is he here? Over the course of the book, find yourself asking, where is Jim? What happened to Jim? Why isn't Jim here? Where did Jim go? How does he magically disappear off of a raft? And why can't this... Stupid runaway, stay put for more than five minutes. Find yourself worrying about one character who doesn't know the meaning of the words stand still. Read the book to find out the answers to all the questions like Why is Tom Sawyer on Huckleberry Finn's mind all the time? What would Tom Sawyer do? How would Tom Sawyer handle this? He would add all kinds of fancy tricks here. Seriously, it's, it's a little creepy. All the way up to the point when he impersonates Tom Sawyer. We all kind of saw that one coming. Please, Miss Marchand, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean anything by that. I promise. I, I, I just kind of realized what I said. I'm sorry. Don't take it that way. Please don't fail me. Yeah. It's too late to edit it out. I'm sorry. Starring. Tom, I don't want you to be my lawyer. <coughs> Buckle up, Finn. <coughs> Runaway Samuel L. Jackson. Bill Schnipe, Duke of Weaseltown. Row a canoe willy-nilly. And Greasers Anonymous. In Huckleberry Finn.